Well, hello there and good day. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're talking about Brigandine Legend of Renarzia mods. I know it's been a while since I've done a Brigandine video, but there are mods for Renarzia, at least for the Switch version, and we're going to talk about, well, some of them. We're even going to maybe install one and see what we can do with it. We're really just playing around to discover things. Uh, I am, of course, as always, joined by Ariel the Wonderful. And she will probably make my life difficult as I try to do this, but we're going to do this. So I'm installing the game on Steam. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, I don't necessarily have anything prepped. I don't know how to do this stuff, but, you know, let's go. So the first thing I see is a mod uh, class expansion by... I want to make sure my mouse is showing up on this thing, and it's not. That's interesting. There it is. Uh, class expansion difficulty by YT. That's Yate0083. Maybe Yate. So it is. Description adds new classes. It adds Samurai, Ravager, Ninja Master, God Hand, and Druid. Female classes War Maiden, Artemis, Gypsy, Diva, Sage. Other unique classes Death Knight and some adjustments have been made to existing classes, skills, magic items, and systems. About the difficulty customization path. Well, in this game, anime ad countries that lose their land and trauma must become weaker and weaker. This mod will allow enemy countries to develop and retain more powerful forces, such as the ability to instantly recruit level 10 and 20 monsters. Also, enemy AI countries will now increase more aggressively, increasing the difficulty and tension of the game. Uh, so, more aggressive AI, good. Uh, recruiting level 10 and 20 monsters, good. That's sort of like uh, cross mod or grand battles. Main specifications. New summon menus will be added to all bases. AI countries will summon high level monsters from the beginning, as well as mana miracle monsters. Reserve knights of AI country will train to a higher level. AI countries invaded at a higher frequency. AI countries start invading earlier with some exceptions. Other minor balance tweaks. So this is a combination of a difficulty mod and a class expansion mod. Which is what I would love to try. I would really enjoy giving this a whirl. Uh, installations. Time I've prepared an automatic installation. Files are in EXE for easy difficulty. I'm not an English speaker. You did fine. You did fine with automatic translation. I know. It's automatic translation. It's all in Japanese. That's, that's great. So, it's based on the previously released this difficulty customize. Please read, read me text before playing. We will do that. I'm going to download and I will be right back. This is around the time that I tell you that this video is sponsored. I use that in quotes because it's sponsored by me. That's me. That's my, that's my real name. That's me, a book I wrote. It's coming out on December 15th. It's called Physics Trincarnate. It's about a girl who is a superhero who discovers her destiny and tries to take it back from those who had manipulated it against her. Um, it's not that long. It's pretty good. It's the best. It's, it's been edited. It's got character pictures in it. It's, it's fantastic. I think you'll love it. It's not fantasy, so it's not bringing in adjacent. But, you know, superheroes, man. What do you want out of me? Like, it's superheroes. It's, it's going to be released on December 15th. Uh, by the time this video goes live, I should have a pre-order link available for you to click on in the description. And speaking of things, description, uh, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, all of the things. If you want to see more Burgundy, if you want to see me run a campaign with this mod, I would love to see some uh, support for that idea. Anyway, sponsor segment's over. Back to uh, talking about mods now. Alright, so in order to download this file, we gotta go to Files, and we gotta go to Manual Download, except it says it's two different files. So we're gonna Manual Download this. And you must be logged in to download files. That is a thing I did not know I would run across in this effort, but apparently you need an account for uh, Nexus Mods, and I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to create one real quick. Um, just in case you see me change my shirt, by the way, that means it's a different day that I'm recording this. This may be a multi-day project. I'm sneaking this in when I have a chance. So, uh, now I have to go create an account. That is an unfortunate thing, but it's a thing you need to know about if you're going to play these mods. So, it's been a minute. I want to give a shout-out to the fine folks on the Brigandine Discord. I am officially just chasing a giraffe down a rabbit hole. 
because if you go over to the download manual button, it will pop up with this window here, and it will tell you that you can in fact download the class expansion stuff for free at three megabytes per minute, I guess. I don't know, let me, let me see that again. Maybe, maybe, let's see that again. Uh, so there's the download thing, that's fine. It'll, there'll be a little pop-up, it'll be like, do you want to download this? You'll be like, yes, I do. So you download it, and uh, then you wait a little while. Although, sometimes it might pop up with a suspicious download block. So let me go deal with that. Yeah, if Chrome or your antivirus or whatever says that there's a suspicious download, you go uh, up to the top right here, where I've got my mouse wiggling around. It's very far in the top right. And you click the little downloads button. And that'll pop up a little window that's not showing on my screen here. And that's how you uh, tell it to download. And let's see what it's like when it's done. So do forgive the jankiness of my uh, background and the pixelation you can see over to this way. Um, it'll bring you to the zip file, which you can just... Uh, Unzip wherever you'd like, really. I mean, it, it's not that tricky. It's just, it brings you to this installer here. So you double click this and you open it. First, let's do the README because those are always important files. Alrighty, so we have the README file. It looks pretty similar to what you see on the Nexus mod site, um, but it does include descriptions of the classes. So it'll tell you like, oh, uh, Samurai is an attacker who can attack to a single target. One of the three hex blade, he's got the IA force blade and all of that good stuff. But it consumes MP, so it's not like Grand Edition. So yeah, the README has a whole bunch of classes. Uh, I'm curious what the Artemis it has. A different type of bow style from Sniper with one to five range, straight line attack using combination. Her equipment is a hat and a robe. So she can put the Zephyr hat. I don't remember what the Zephyr hat does. Uh, bird type. I think the person meant bard, but that's okay. Translation is tough. I understand. <laughs> Ruler category. Fallberg eggs blast has a range of one to three. So uh, the higher power spells now have greater range. That's interesting. Uh, MP. So, so Talia looks like she got nerfed. Uh, Dennis is now a death knight. Uh, so that's pretty cool. He's a sword demon worthy of his profile. He no longer seems gently healing his allies. He can't change to other classes. So that's interesting. They made Dennis a unique character. That's pretty cool. Uh, other changes. Compatibility. Uh, these, these are changes that should make the game a little more difficult. They should add new classes. Um, my big question with this, and I'd have to see it, is whether or not these classes are implemented in the game at start, or if the AI can use them at its will, or if they can't use it at will. Uh, those are all good questions. So how to install the mod, which is thankfully not behind me mostly. Mostly, I said. Uh, the big thing is place the mod file .exe format in the same location as the resources .assets file in the game folder, bringing in the Legend of Renerzia data. Run the .exe file and apply the patch according to the dialog. If there's no error message, it is a success. After execution, a backup should be made automatically, but it's recommended to manually back up the resources at .assets file just in case. So we're gonna go look for that. So I'm having a bit of trouble finding the resource.assets file in the game folder bringing in the Legend of Renerzia data. I'm gonna have to dig into that. All right, so there's an easier way to do this. If you go to your Steam folder and you right click on bringing in the Legend of Renerzi, it'll bring up the little submenu that you see, which allows you to go to manage and then browse local files. It will bring you right to the place you are trying to get to. So that is a quick way to find what we are trying to find. Uh, 
I'm probably going to change shirts after this because I'm probably going to be recording at a different time than this, but for you, it'll be right this second. So here is something interesting with regards to the uh, installation, how to install the mod. It says to put it in the same location as the resources.assets file in the game folder, bringing the Legend of Runerzia. Let's see if we can find that. So here we are looking through the folder and we're, we see a resources folder and a streaming assets folder so that there's a two different possibilities here. Uh, I'm looking for a resource dot assets file. These are res slash assets files. I, I can't tell if this is where it's supposed to go. So we're just gonna we're just gonna um, we're gonna do this. We're gonna drop our expansion thing here, and we're gonna try to run it. We're gonna see how that works. Windows protected my PC. Run anyway. And and you can't see that, but it's it's running. Okay, that brings up this little guy here. Uh, let's see if I can fit to screen. Probably, uh... Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's hit the next button. It's mod expands runite. Let's... Let's hit next. And it seems to have done something. The mod has been successfully installed and should now be usable. The old files are preserved. Cool. That was surprisingly easy. All right, well, the, uh, the game is up and running, so that is a good sign. Let's see, new game. I have not played Steam at all because I played my one campaign as the Shinobi and then I was like, yeah, I'd rather play cross mod. So we're gonna just, uh, it's gonna be a time skip on your end, but for me, I'm gonna have to go through all the introductions to a country. So yeah, we'll, we'll just pick up here later. I think it's most likely that Mana Silesia is going to have um, characters I can use to instantly check some of these things, so I'm going to pick them. I don't know which country has the most high level knights to start with. I think it's them, but I'm I'm a GE person, I'm a cross mod person, I'm not a Renegade person. I think it's funny to think of just all of the uh, options you're allowed to have here. Um, I'm obviously not going to turn this into a Let's Play, although I might if I like the mod changes, if they work. Um, I might. I don't know. It's maybe right now I'm doing Baldur's Gate, but, you know, if you leave a comment, maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll be into that. Who knows? Rudo Marco. All right, we're starting. I... Yeah, skip the guide. I kind of know how to play this game. <laughs> All right, and we're going to cut back out. Are we? Can I just skip this? Skip. All right, cool. Skip. Skips are easy. I will say this much. It's much easier to just get into the game. All right, so... So far, these are all classes I recognize. Okay, but let's just dive right in. Can I change Paladin class? Oh, it does say Samurai exists. I can't change to it, but it does say it exists. It is a level 20. It's tier whatever tier three unit how about cardinal gillian priest type cardinal there's nothing special you can change to is 
There's a wizard and a druid. I believe, as I alt tab over to the readme, druid is an addition. Yes. Uh, can I take nation statistics? Wait, that might be what I want a power relationship. So I'm not finding any major changes. That are immediately eminent. We're gonna change to a different country and create a new game. Because I, I want to test this, and there's only one way I can test it. It literally... Come on, hurry up. I know we got the cool swirly book effect. I like it. I love it. I'm just not here for it right now. Skip. I'm doing this game so dirty, but like... It's out of love. <laughs> Fuck it, easy. <laughs> skip the guide. Yes, skip the guide. I want to turn Muai into a druid. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do is I want to confirm, like, hey, I can actually convert this guy into a druid. And then I will be like, hey, I've accomplished something today. Troops. I've never heard this music before. It's pretty dope. Class, Mua. Mage type. I cannot change the druid. Why can't I change the druid? So druids have Frost and Geno Thunder. And Geno Flame. It's because he's already a wizard. So I'd have to level Darien up in order to make him into a different class. He's a knight. There's already a dark knight in the game, so it's kind of pointless. It's not really learning anything. Okay, well, damn it, we tried. Look, uh, the mod works. The game works with the mod. It hasn't crashed yet, at least. Will I do a modded campaign? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know who's who. I almost feel like it would be funny to do uh, Shinobi just because you would get Sid going one path and Jose going another path in terms of Swordsman path. But I don't want to do another Shinobi campaign. I want to know how the story goes. And yeah, that's that's where I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you want to see me play Burgundy, let me know. Uh, until then, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, or whatever buttons. It really does help the channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can keep making more of it. I really do appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. I am on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, all of those good things. Links are in the description down below, as is the link to go pre-order and buy this book. You should do that. You should totally do that. Thank you all so much for joining me, and as always, on this channel, pieces.